Okay, Sagittarius, let's jump into your March and April money, finance, and career. But again, take it with a grain of salt. You know how I'd be talking. I'd be talking just energy and quantum. Feel free to take it and apply it to your situation if it resonates. Feel free to reach out for a one-on-one -on -one reading. Uh, RunningOnTarot.com in the description for all my stuff. Uh, like, share, follow, comment, subscribe. As always, catch me on the live stream, uh, Running on Tarot. Check out TikTok, Instagram. Spirit of gratitude, your love and light, highest possible messages at this time for Aquarius. Money, finance, career, March and April 2023, or whenever you good people come across it. What we need to know, if you're not a Sagittarius, apply this to your ninth house. You could Google that and see what that refers to and use that as a lens to perceive this reading and maybe apply it to that sector of your life, okay? Um, if you're not a Sagittarius. If you're a Sagittarius, you can take this wholesale for wherever it's at in your chart. I got a special this week, $4.40 readings on the YouTube, so you can catch me on the live stream. Um, check that out. Runninguntarot.com, that's R-U-N space N, G-U-N space T-A-R-O-T. You get the Six of Cup in the reverse. This is usually leaving the past, leaving the innocent, going out and venturing away from the past or the innocent here, okay? Not fighting for something or just kind of being very slack on something. Okay, you see that there's a lot of like misdirection outside of yourself, a lot of lack of discipline outside of yourself. So it could be that you're seeing as within, so without. Um, so you see that things aren't moving along. Um, and so you're kind of trying to like travel lightly is what I'm getting here. I'm trying to start something new or have something happen. It's almost as if you realize that on this front, you're not doing great with the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. It's like unstable right now. Okay, it's like there's no action that could be done for you. So you're trying new methods and new ways of doing so. You're trying the internal alchemical approach from the position that you are right now. Is what I'm getting here. Okay. Yeah, you're deciding to rush towards something because you feel like if you don't make it happen, then it's not going to happen, is what I'm getting here, okay? And you don't want to, you know, have this slip away and you know that you're capable of doing stuff in a more kind of refined, classic way, uh, you know, you could you know, positively massage or manipulate the situation here. Um, okay, why is this lover's card in the reverse? Why is this lover's card in the reverse? After the Empress. It could be that you were still able to, like, reclaim Empress status, even though you had a falling out, okay, you, you were revealed your true colors, despite like certain injustices. Okay, not really trying to statistically or strategically overthink, just kind of going where your, your natural nature wants you to go. And I do trust that that's gonna lead you to success here. So you got the golden egg, the man, the master manifester here, king of pentacles here. Okay, you're just you're kind of going where the where the getting's good, where you know your next kind of answer is for you. Okay, I don't think you're dwelling in your emotion here. I just, I keep on getting a lot of the same stuff, so I'm just trying to fly by it. What's this five of cup in the reverse? To me, the five of cup just represents like more so the ethereal or the earthly plane here, but I think you're above that. I'm not getting that you're like, you're, you're jumped in the river. Like 
you're with the flow, jumped in the river, you're not tripping about the past. Like, I'm just kind of getting that, like, you're more of the mindset that it's not real. You know, again, we talked about primordial energies and repurposing it, and, and I just feel like you've been able to really kind of manipulate and editorialize, and that's a good thing, because that's part of manifestation. And you have the space and the time to do so. You know. Yeah, like you're so above like this kind of like, should I stay or should I go, stagnate, come back energy, like, you're not about that. And the three of cups in the reverse, like, uh, I might as well take that out of the deck. Because it's like, doesn't even mean anything at this point. There's a rebirth of like, any kind of resemblance of your understanding of what you have to do next is like, gratuitous, like, um, you know, it's like something's telling you to do it, but you were on your way to do it anyways, you know what I'm saying, so it's like, I can't interpret this Three of Cups as a sobering reality, I can't, it's like, you know what you need to do, and so you do it, you know, and, and but this is something every day that you're hitting, every single day. And it's what's bringing you in union with your vision. And like even the Knight of um, Pentacles in this deck, like I'm not getting the sadness at all. I'm getting like you're when you're in your momentum, when you're going with the flow, you're like, you're killing it. Like you feel supercharged. You know, you're on top of the world here. You're like moving through portals and like dimensions is what I'm getting more so than anything. I think the deck wants to like, you know, interpret it like very basic but I'm not a basic you know reader I'm not a basic interpreter so I just get like your I get more so this energy look at the smile on that person's face like that person's good either way because he knows he's doing it the right way you know what I'm saying and it's like what he's kind of investing and tilling and growing now is going to give him further options in the future to just have this compounding effect to just reduce his limitations. Even in the face of like immaturity or like, he's not even, he realizes that like to bear a resentment against someone that's like immature, nine of cup in the reverse, nine of wand in the reverse, like, no, I'm not, I'm not choosing revenge. I'm choosing manifesting at my highest state because I can. That's what this is. It's like a healthy form of like, I'm only competing against myself. Like, this is manifesting for me, that seven of cup in the upright. And that has to do with, like, not being in your mind, not overthinking, just kind of going with it. Um, or whether there's good news coming in or not, you know, you're chill. Chilling like a villain here. Because you know that your wealth is inside of yourself. You know, and you're slaying your demons and your dragons, too, I should say. Um, and you've been, you know, through cycles of the unknown. So you're not even tripping on this, to be honest. Anything else? Anything else? Yeah, it's almost as if, like, in lieu of, like, maybe currency or finances or whatever, like, because all that is is an energy at the end of the day. Like, 
I'm getting that you're able to tap into like the chillness of it. Like it's done already. It's only a matter of time. It's just like I get to be a part of the unfolding process of like how exactly does it happen, you know? Yeah, and if you can have happiness like in the midst of it or, or through the process of it, then, you know, then that's fine. So remember that it's not about like, I know we call these money readings, but really money is just energy. So it's energy reading at the end of the day. So it's like acting as if like you're already where you want to be. And that's how you lend um, like just happiness to it. Because that's what the Ten of Cup is. Ten of Cup is happiness. So it's like while you get to be a part of the unfolding, you still get to be like happy, whole, and complete as you're doing it. That's what I'm getting here. So that's pretty cool. You could strategize and what have you, but it's like don't take it so seriously is what I'm getting here. So I think speaking of energy, it's like you want to like maintain like your ethic above all else, you know. Um, so, that's pretty cool. And I think you will. I have faith and confidence that you do, you know. Mm. I think everyone's mature enough to realize. Hmm. Yeah, it's like, I'm just getting this, like, wealth of, like, experience and, like, to the point where it's, like, the scoreboard could read, like, 100 to 0 and you're still good, you know, so you're, you're getting better as time goes on, okay, wish fulfillment there, so. alright guys, I'm gonna leave it there, uh, feel free to reach out for one-on-one -on -one reading, love and light to you guys, peace.